Welcome, in front of me is a Huawei Nova 10 Pro and today I will show you how you can go through the setup of this phone. So when you put it up for the first time you will be presented with the welcoming screen with the most stupid language selection because they wanted to make it graphic. So here you have the dumbest bubbles which uh, you just kind of get confused by them. Uh, find your desired language simply select it um, from there. Select get started. There we go. And then you can select your region in a more normal way. I'm surprised they didn't give you a globe that can spin around. Anyway, uh, it's selected on U uh, UK. I'm just gonna keep it on here even though it's incorrect. I don't really care that much. Then we have terms of use. So obviously you need to select that you have read and agreed to them. Otherwise you won't be able to use your brand new device. Insert SIM card. Obviously, you can pop in a SIM card. Now, this is just an optional step. Uh, assuming you can connect to Wi-Fi. The reason why I mentioned this is because Huawei decided to uh, be effing obnoxious about needing internet connection of some kind of sorts. So, you cannot finish up the setup of your brand new phone without internet connection. That'd be through a SIM card or uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, why? I have no freaking clue. Uh, there is no explanation for this anywhere. And just to kind of clarify for people that will be like, oh, it's needed. No, it's it's not. It's not. Every other phone can do it without it. And the only other phone that does this is iPhone. Uh, because it's iPhone, I, I'm not even going to try to fight this. And Samsung. But Samsung only requires you to connect uh, to network through the first very first setup. Later on, if you reset the device, you can go through the setup without it. Here, every time you reset the device, you need to connect to network, no matter what. Uh, and I normally would consider maybe for warranty purposes, but hey, this device already went through an initial setup, so there's no reason for it. As you can see, next button is just completely gone. Uh, get f if you want to set up your device uh, as a however you want. Uh, the setup is now not catered towards you, it's catered towards Huawei. So I'm gonna set a, select network and get forced into signing into it. All right, and then once you want to type in, uh, we have a user agreement for a freaking keyboard. There we go. Now we can actually continue with our setup. Um, data and privacy, uh, it's a freaking joke, it's Huawei, there is no privacy. Device protection, now here we can uh, just set up some kind of protection to our device. We have three different methods of going about it, fingerprint, face recognition and pin pattern or password. Now if you're planning to set up a fingerprint or end face recognition, you are also required to select a uh, screen lock that'd be pin pattern or password now the reason for this is if something happens to your fingerprint uh, maybe you cut your finger uh, or your face or both of them you would just simply lose access to your device and also there is room for error in terms of like recognition of fingerprints and faces so obviously a physical method will circumvent those problems and uh, yeah so that's the reason why you need to also set up a, a pin pattern or password with when you're choosing any one of those. Now I'll only set up a pattern right here. So once you tap on it, it automatically opts into a six digit pin, but it can change unlocking method and select something else, which like I said, I'm gonna select a pattern. There we go. We can select done. Now it brings me back to selecting other uh, unlocking methods like fingerprint and facial recognition. I'm gonna skip this. Huawei ID. Uh, this will give you access to cloud, app gallery, uh, Huawei video. I'm not sure why you would want to use that. Uh, exclusive offers. A very vague explanation of what it gives you access to. Members discount and uh, VoIP uh, hotline. So for the most part you will most likely need to either create one, uh, create a Huawei ID or logged in with one. Uh, either now or later and the reason I mentioned this is because if you're planning to download any kind of application you will need to do it using the app gallery and to do so you will need to be logged into Huawei account. So there we go. 
Now I'm not planning to do any of that so I'll just select next and skip this. Now in just typical fashion of a Huawei being an absolute annoyance, uh, copying Apple in the every worst way they possibly can, uh, they kind of give you this page to log into our Huawei ID with no freaking skip button because they have to hide it by don't have a Huawei ID forget your password without even including the option that yeah you can skip it through here so I'm telling you if you don't want to sign in right now you can do it by selecting the forgot one uh, option and selecting maybe later and then leave it's baffling to me anyway uh, moving on uh, we have some media services so enable Huawei video services and then enable Huawei book services you can read exactly what these do I don't really care so I'm gonna select later uh, M uh, HMS care so again some more stuff from Huawei these are like their whatever naming I don't even remember what this is about uh, but we have some uh, settings uh, add ID statistics so just kind of uh, when enabled your information will be used to uh, evaluate and improve the performance of your, of advertisements uh, if you want this for some unexplained reason you can keep this on but for everybody else uh, I, w I recommend you to turn this off it's just it's just creepy to be honest so I'm gonna disable this and go back and also personalized aids uh, I mean ads uh, I'm gonna also turn that off because uh, it's basically the same thing as ad ID so yeah uh, I, I don't want to have ads or my phone basically spy on me to give me the best ads on uh, the given day of the week of what I'm talking about or uh, searching for so I just consider that to be way more intrusive than it should be and disable it. Auto update. Uh, you can keep this on, but uh, stupidly, it's the only thing that is actually disabled by default. Go figure. Um, auto update. Oh, auto update. If I actually go back, I'm gonna. I'm gonna quickly go into it maybe so this basically uh, enables the automatic update of your device when a new version comes out it will automatically download it and install it overnight so it's actually a pretty nice thing to have enabled but for some reason why we decided to turn it off and unlike they could have just flipped it around turn off all the creepy shit and keep the good stuff on but they decided to now nah, just I'm, I'm basically speechless here Anyway, uh, enhanced services, uh, you can read exactly what these do if you want them. Enroll, if you don't, just select no thanks or later. Uh, user experience improvement programs, uh, again, same thing. Uh, share analytics, uh, I don't think it really matters what you select if you want to share or not. They basically have access to everything, so. Anyway, um, location services, I'm gonna select later. I believe this will turn off uh, GPS tracking by default so there we go and then keep your software up to date so enable overnight um, it's kind of weird considering we already had the uh, update or auto update so this is again the same thing it, it was disabled there uh, but you can now enable it through here on a separate settings page not sure why it showed up before then so as you can see uh, it does exactly what I said so enables overnight and it's being updated somewhere between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m. So there we go. And if you don't want to have your auto update overnight enabled, you can select it right here, update manually, which will require you to go into the settings and search for updates yourself and then choose to install them. Anyway, next page, we have the option to import data. So we have a couple of the ways of doing it. Move data from, an, uh, from another device, restore from a Huawei cloud backup, or set up the device as new. So the first two allow you to backup, the uh, second one just doesn't do anything. Uh, now to quickly extend, expand on these. A move data from an, another device will allow you to move the data from any kind of phone. Uh, it will only require you to download the uh, phone clone application, which can be done through Play Store assuming it still works if it gives you some kind of error problems because it's an older uh, version of it you can search uh, online for it and most likely you will find a Huawei website where they will allow you to download it 
at the APK uh, from their website. Now, the reason why I mentioned this, uh, like downloading from a browser, which normally is not a thing, is because this is, again, Huawei. So they don't have access to Google services anymore, and they can also no longer update their application on the App Store. So that's why you might need to sideload it. Uh, now, when it comes down to restoring for the, from the uh, Huawei Cloud, you do need to have a Huawei device that you can create that backup from. So your old device would also need to be a Huawei. Uh, and then all you would do is just log in with the same account that you have on your old device to this one and you can do it like that. But assuming your old device is not a Huawei, the only way of doing so would be through the first option. And if you don't want to basically bring up your old data to this device, just uh, select uh, Setup as New. And this will then give us an option to use gesture navigation. Now by default it tells us to learn them. So try gestures and if you don't want to, tough luck. You just need to first try them and then close it off if you don't want to actually try them. Uh, here it gives you just a quick guide on how to use them. Now I already know how to use them so I'm not even gonna bother. And then it gives you the option to finish, which if you select finish it will use gesture navigations as a default navigating uh, alternative for your device or if you want, you can select right here, change navigation method, and this will select the buttons uh, by default. And when you finish now, you'll have the actual like three button navigation at the bottom. Now, apparently before it actually finishes up, it also tells us to install some uh, popular applications from the app gallery, like TikTok and majority of them look to be games. Uh, we have a bank account application. But yeah, uh, honestly, I don't want any of them, so I'm gonna select select all and then deselect all because it's the quickest way to just deselect all of them. And then I can go to the next page, which automatically takes me to home screen. So there we go. There was a quite long video on setup of this device. Uh, I decided to go a little bit more in depth into certain things than I probably should have. But if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.